you too. What's up, baby? <laughs> My man. Uh, yeah, so here we are. Uh, Tuesday. The day is over. Um, let me see. Did we have a good day today? Let's see. Did we have a good day today? Um, nah, I don't think so. But we're going to get better. We're going to get better. But um, overall, we did, today is okay. Uh, we started out really bad. Um, started out in the hotel room. And, uh, you know, it wasn't the best hotel. But um wasn't the best hotel, but it was all right. But actually the day before that night, the wife texted me and said, was it yeah, she texted me and said, um, you forgot your toiletries, you know, like your toothbrush, deodorant, stuff to clean yourself with, right? So I said, Oh, hell no. But she she texted me that. Right as I sit down and get comfortable in the hotel room. And I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, so. Needless to say, I didn't take a shower. I didn't, you know, I could have, you could have used the the, hot, the hotel soap. But nah, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. luckily I wasn't too far from home. Um, so when I got up that morning or this morning, uh, that's that's kind of how you know the day started. So I head home to go take a shower and to get my toiletry bag. So I got my toiletry bag now. So good thing uh, I wasn't able to make because I was supposed to be here yesterday, but it was I didn't have enough time to get here. So luckily I didn't have enough time and I didn't go or come to South Carolina because I would have got here and been so mad, bro. Oh, my, actually, you know what? Nah, I, yeah, I would have been mad. I would have been mad. But luckily, when I'm parking that, so actually it, was, it wouldn't have been that bad. I would have been like, oh, man. But I'm parked right here. Uh, I'm at the Comfort comfort Inn or Comfort Suites, whatever this thing is called. Um, what is this called? Uh, I'm here and I'm parked right next to a, a Walmart. Comfort Suites, okay? So I would have got all the stuff that I needed. So I actually would have been all right, so... Maybe I'm just being extra, bro. Maybe I'm just being extra. But it is what it is. Uh, the day started out messed up. So that was that. Um, but we drove here. Everything was beautiful. We delivered the cars. We had all nine units going to one stop. That was beautiful. Um, let's see. Uh, and I'm in this nice hotel. Okay. In this nice hotel. Comfort Suites. This is a nice hotel. It's very, we're well, not very expensive, but it's expensive compared to what we're supposed to get. Um, this is like the only one around here that really has truck stop. Well, where I can park my truck. Um, some other places, there's another comfort suite, but I got to park it like the Planet Fitness and then either walk there or Uber there. Then there is the Econo Lodge uh, that I can park at. But I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm not staying at that uh, hotel. I stayed there. When I was with my trainer, I won't stay there again. I promise you that. Uh, whenever I come to Lexington and I get stuck here, I will be staying here. Okay. If it's a problem, then I just won't come to Lexington no more. But uh, this is where I'm staying at, bro. Hopefully, you know, the prices will go down. But of course, because it's a nice hotel room, they're not going to go down. Okay. The, the raggedy hotel rooms is you know, the ones that's going to have the low prices. So, but yeah, man, this is an update. Small little thing though. I don't know what that is. That looks scary. I'm not touching it. I'm up here. Okay. It's just the angle. Okay. The angle. So, um, but yeah, I guess I could kind of put this into, uh, doing the, uh, little tour thing. So let's see what we got. Uh, so this is the bathroom. You, everybody knows what the bathroom looks like. Uh, clearly already used the hand soap. Got your towels. You got your bathroom tub and stuff. Doesn't look bad. This right here, bro. Woo. Like, bro, if I'm trying to, 
I can't take it. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. But yeah, I think I got the, I don't know if that's a king or queen. It might be a queen. I don't know. But um, yeah, again, it's it's not dirty. Okay. Got my, my cooler. If I was to use that stuff, I'm not going to use it. Got the desk. I got my laptop and everything. So I'm about to do some work. My clothes. And again, like I said, I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, yeah, it's over there. I don't know. I don't know, but don't worry about it. I Like, I'm not even going to sit on that, so it don't even matter. So, whatever. Uh, the bed, I always pull the comforter back, okay? I don't, I try not to touch the comforter. Again, they may, ch you know, hopefully they change the sheets. They change the sheets but they do not change the comforter, okay? And then you gotta go check for bed bugs and everything, I've already checked, that's why it's back like that. All the pillows are fine, nothing's wrong. TV, you know, it's so funny because uh, ever since I've been here and uh, been in the hotel, I, I haven't turned the TV on. I don't even turn the TV on because I'm always doing work because I do so much during the day. This is the time I catch up. So I really don't even turn the, the TV. I might turn on Netflix here and there, but I never turn that on. So, but yeah, this is what it is. And it's so funny, man, because, you know, like a quality in or something or you kind of lodge, it'll look like this, but it'd be beat up. It's just all disgusting. It's like, bro, just do something with it, man. You already like you've already made the money. And it's so funny because the big name hotels own these smaller size hotel these smaller name hotels but it's just like put money into it bro come on take care of your people bro but yeah yeah that's uh that's the hotel room man um like y'all never seen a hotel room but i'm in a good place today because i'm in a good hotel room okay i'm gonna get a good night's sleep get up in the morning go load these cars on this trailer go deliver it and load up again let's go Okay, so um, that's what it is. Now, I will say, okay, I will say I'm still going to put in some applications at uh, some other car hauling places. Okay, um, again, I'm not saying that this company is bad. Okay, I'm just saying I would like a sleeper. I really don't feel the uh, staying in hotel thing. Um, and really... Like, it doesn't make sense to stay in expensive hotels, I guess. You know, just taking away. I'm only sleeping in this junk, but I just don't want to be in nothing dirty. So, I don't know, man. I'm so confused, okay? Because I have, like, plans. Let me sit down because I know I'm probably making y'all dizzy. Uh, I got plans, <clears throat> you know, so I'm trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to do it. So, but I do know. <clears throat> But I do know uh, we will be hauling cars, okay? We will be hauling cars. Again, if you've been following me since the beginning, you will know this is what I've always wanted to do. And oh, also, I just learned uh, if you want to do that big boy stuff in the low boy, you got to get your triples and doubles, bro. I just learned that. It's a couple of guys that um haul the low boys and stuff and uh we was outside talking and there's about to get, he's like man we can get you a job today i was like bro i don't live in north carolina bro i live down in uh georgia it's oh man it's, yeah if you lived up here man we can get you hired today you can get in the truck with me and we could have went down and did this and that i'm like what and you know they saying they make good money and stuff company drivers um but yeah so you know, to haul the 13 axle stuff, the big money stuff, got to have your triple and double. So um, I didn't really want to get endorsements, but for that, okay, for that, I will do my triples and doubles because that's retarded money. Okay. So we want to see what that's hitting on and, um, you know, just learning all aspects of this business, man. And uh, yeah, you know, just this, uh, uh, exotic freight you know just just doing that you know uh i've done the 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 dry van reefer stuff you know and i just want to learn the new stuff that's all there's nothing wrong with 
car haulers, nothing wrong with driving a reefer. It's just I'm the, if you know me, I just like I'm I'm curious, okay? So I just want to know everything. So um but yeah, that's what it is, man. Uh about to get some work done and then um I'm gonna hit the hay. So it's time to go night night. Gotta get up at five in the morning so we can get things done. And um yeah, so till next time. Today we we still we good. Okay, we'll see how I feel tomorrow. <laughs> but um probably getting a load back to Atlanta. Um I really don't want to go back to Atlanta, just to be honest with you. Uh I wanna kinda stay out, run the circuit. Um, because we have so many terminals, ter terminals. Uh I don't want to keep going back to Lawrenceville. One, because we gotta haul them trucks, man, and Hauling them big old trucks and, and doing all this extra stuff, it don't pay as well as hauling a uh, nine-unit compass load, okay? I mean, I load those compasses, man, in an hour and a half. I, I meant to make a video, but I was just so hyped and trying to get home and stuff like that. But I, I um, loaded those compasses in one hour and 30 minutes. And I wasn't rushing. I was, I was walking fast to the car. OK, but uh, I wasn't, you know, when I got to the tra truck and trailer, I didn't rush. I just put everything right where it needed to be. So I didn't have to do any adjustments, strapped them down and I was out of there. So. Um, I will, OK, 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 wait, hold on. You do get money hauling the big, big truck. So thirty five hundred and up, you know, if, but they haven't gave me any of those trucks. So I don't know what it is. Uh, you know what it is yet so and i don't have a tr uh i don't have a uh truck that can handle i think seven six trucks i think it is that you can pull so i can't do that with the truck and trailer i have because it's an older model and i don't have the truck package so i probably can put four maybe actually i could put five trucks on my tr on my truck Boom, boom. But it'll be tough because the truck will be overhanging. So maybe five trucks, six to five trucks, five to six trucks. So, but yeah, anyway, we're going to get out of here, man. Get this work done. I just wanted to make this video because uh, I know y'all probably, not by you watching this video, things are rolling with, with, my, with my YouTube, hopefully. So uh, I know I'm probably like a month or two behind. I'm so sorry. But, uh, just learning this new stuff, man. YouTube kind of took a back uh, a back seat, but I, I'm trying to bring it back, man, and uh, bring you some trucking content. I know I had a lot of home content that y'all didn't like, but I don't care. That's what it was at that time, okay? So, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm done. All right, all right. Life is simple. Choose to be happy. If you ain't about that life, make it out of that truck.